All right, this is getting out of hand. I think you guys are just hating to hate because in our last video, our top comment was from StrickenFan420 saying that they want us to do the Lapa SMG on Foreskin with a thermal scope healing aura and we can only pack a punch once and we can't use Jug or Quick Revive. And I say this is getting out of hand because there isn't even a thermal scope for the Lapa. Y'all are just making stuff up to try to make it harder for me. But to be fair, they did edit their comment and say they realized there was no thermal after watching our stream of us leveling it up. But I know y'all just trying to be evil to be evil. But if you guys want to leave an evil suggestion like this one, or, you know, a fun one. Fun ones are allowed too. You don't have to make it as difficult as possible for me, but uh, you can go ahead and leave it in a comment down below. I'll have a comment there as well with everything we already have completed. So make sure you check that out first. That way you don't get any repeats. All right. So not only do we have to do this evil challenge, but uh, they didn't give us anything to upgrade. So our aether crystals are going unused today, but I got a feeling that this challenge is going to take a few attempts because with only pack a punch one, we can only go so far with our weapon. I, I went ahead and I made sure that I had the cavalry lancer barrel on our gun here that way when we do start running into armored zombies we can at least deal with them a little bit better but i don't think it's gonna help out a whole lot i have a feeling we have to play a few games especially with just healing aura i don't have this thing leveled up at all so i'm pretty sure it only gives me like a slight health boost when we do use it and without our ring of fire we don't even get like a little damage boost from that to maybe get through some of these rounds easier it's us versus the world and i get the no jug because i think that's our only perk that we have like tier five but no quick revives just cruel for the sake of cruel because i don't even got that tiered up like that's still tier one quick revive so y'all are just trying to check all the bases of of suffering but i did get a decent amount of camos done i don't remember how i used to level up weapons before for. like i know i played outbreak for it but it still felt like i was going very very slow because i'm almost done with like all my normal kills like i'm only like a few hundred kills away from getting a rotten camo but i still have like all basically 2500 crits to get because every time we were leveling these up i'm making sure i'm like aiming for the legs but i want to try to get pack a punch as soon as possible here because i at least want to feel like i can tear through some zombies for a little bit so i'm gonna try to stay in the first room until i have like 15 or 20 thousand points something like that that way i can open up all the doors and still get in and you know buy pack a punch and honestly i haven't really seen anybody use like healing aura in solo i feel like Healing Aura is like the best or one of the best field upgrades you can have when playing with like people that don't normally play this game. Like, if you know, somebody's going to be going down a lot and you guys aren't going to be in the same area of the map or just like it's just the most convenient way to revive somebody solo. I don't know how much this is going to help us out, but I also made sure I threw on some attachments here that drop us more salvage because we're going to have to upgrade this thing to legendary faster than we normally would. And I think I'm going to prioritize that over uh, getting armor. So hopefully the zombies drop me some because I don't want to waste any scrap on this. But I do like the challenges that make me use a different field upgrade because I feel like I haven't used a whole lot of them outside of like Tesla Storm and, you know, Ring of Fire. Like those are my go-tos. I think it'd be fun to try using like Frenzied Guard. I feel like I, I've used that the least but i know it's probably one of the more viable ones because the zombie slowdown when upgraded on top of like regenerating all of your uh your armor is actually like a really good upgrades to a to a field upgrade a lot of upgrade in that sentence but but it's it's true it's a it's a good field upgrade and i'll see if healing where can help us out here it cannot. This field upgrade is pretty useless. And now we have to burn our self-revive on round 10 because I was not paying attention. So I'm definitely going to have to buy tombstone because I am not wasting any scrap on a self-revive until we, we got the scrap to spare. And we got a decent amount of cash. I'm going to start opening up the portal here. I still remember the first time I got this weapon done. For whatever reason, I could not remember the name of it, even though it's down there in like the bottom right corner. Well, I guess it does change when you pack a punch it, but I was calling it like the Lupa, the Lapis Lazuli, and like the Dual Leap like i had fuck, i had no clue what this gun was called and honestly i can't even tell if it's a good weapon or not because it's a cool looking smg and i feel like it does decent damage but when we were playing some like higher rounds of outbreak it seemed like it wasn't really getting the job done and i am out of ammo so i'll grab some of that and then we can go ahead and head through our portal even though i can't grab jug i'll take a little money from it let's grab tombstone just so we can at least keep the game going or potentially keep the game going actually i think now that we're at blue tier we can upgrade our armor a little bit it doesn't use the green scrap now let's grab our parts for the second teleporter what's going on mule kick wish i had you upgraded for that you know ammo tier and the use of the tacticals and lethals but we do not there's another part gotta get this dude's flashlight throwing it in the display case and quick little detour i'm grabbing dead shot actually really quick let me make sure i check this challenge this this novel of a challenge oh they did say just do any optic and i got iron sights on iron sights count as an optic 
That's any of them. Just making sure I'm not breaking any rules. Let's grab our fryer and hopefully we can put this together before we get killed. Cool. All right, let's see if we can take out the Forsaken or the Abomination with this. This is doing literally nothing to the Abomination. Oh, and we already got our Jackrabbits done. Come on, Abomination. There you go. Shut your mouth. This is doing 14 damage a bullet. That is awful. Zombies, get off me! Healing Aura? Why does Healing Aura do absolutely nothing? I didn't even, like, regen my health. There we go. Damn, dude. It's already a struggle with this. But now we can lift the lock down. We can get Pack-A-Punch 1, and that's it. I'm gonna grab Cryo Freeze. And I guess now we can start getting other perks that aren't Jug and Quick Revive. I don't think there's too many zombies in the round, so let's go to the Wonder Fizz and see what we can grab. Let's see. We can get Speed Cola, Stamina, I guess Death Perception, THD, why not? But the rest aren't gonna really help us out. And now we start our journey of running around in the spawn room until we die. Let's hope that we at least get a good amount of crits before that happens. With our 1,500 kills while packed, we still need a 1,000 more kills packed. And they all have to be pack a punch of one. I don't know why I said punch like that. This challenge is getting to me. But since I did get, like, a decent amount of camos leveling this thing up, I've been trying to think of, like, other ways that I could get weapon levels. Like, people were saying Onslaught. I think Onslaught could be good, but I might be getting more kills in Onslaught than I would in Outbreak. And I'm kind of thinking I just need to play multiplayer for it. But multiplayer is, like double the amount of time it takes to level up a weapon than it is in zombies like i wish there was just a way to turn off camo progress while i'm you know leveling but then i was also thinking maybe we should just try to get these guns gold in multiplayer before we hop into zombies and we could stream that but i know it would take so much longer to get like uh a weapon gold then like fully leveled up i'm sure i'd be able to get like decent camo progress with it but we could just have like a another series where we just you know try to get dark matter i guess but also i don't want to put too much on my plate so i'm just looking for a little input because i don't think i'd make videos on dark matter i would just like do the streams of me doing it and then also you know how like we do these open lobbies whenever we're uh like leveling up our weapons we could get more people in an open lobby for multiplayer but i feel like it's not as fun to watch multiplayer as it is zombies but if we do that that'll mean that we have every single camo to get in zombies when we hop into here so it's got its given its take but we can upgrade our armor to level two I would get level three, but we are so close to being able to get our weapon up to purple. So I think level two is like as much as we're going to do today. And even with this pack a punch, it still does nothing against the abomination. The abomination is just so damn tanky if their mouths aren't open. I don't get it, dude. Come on. Why are you closing your fucking mouth? Keep it open. Oh, now I'm out of ammo. Bastard, dude. There we go. Got him through the crate. Now can we get this up to purple? We can. Just gotta save up a thousand to get any more damage upgrades on this. That's gonna be a while for that. Honestly, what I want to do is get all of our pack-a-punch kills done, which we will definitely get those done before we're done with crits. And once those are done, just see if I can survive in the first room. Just going for crits only. It'd be nice if uh, they had dead shot in the first room, but we can't have everything fall in line for us. But I wonder until like what round this thing's gonna stop doing any sort of damage to these zombies. Speaking of damage to zombies, we got our rotten camo done. That's all of our normal kills. So we're just way behind on uh, pack a punch and even more behind on crits. Okay, so what I'm starting to realize is that healing aura is basically just like a stim that you recharge. Like that's it. That's all it does without any upgrades. Of course, the second I buy armor, a carpenter drops. And actual armor drops on the ground. This game waits for you to buy ammo, buy armor, buy whatever, and then it drops the power up at, that you need after you do that. It really knows how to fuck with you. Well, there's our 750 crits. We're just a quarter of the way there. Okay, so I'm thinking zombies will not be a problem. Oh my god, I say as I go down. What I was gonna say is normal zombies shouldn't be a problem until like round 30 something. The elite zombies, like that mimic right there, are already becoming a problem to kill. Is there a way I can tombstone myself back up? Okay, and there's an abomination out here. This is fucked up. Come on. Got it. Barely. I need to immediately go buy tombstone again. Give me that carpenter. That way I can have some armor to get me to tombstone. Zombies, why don't you all get stunned real quick? And stay the fuck away from me. All right, we got tombstone back. For now, please don't kill me. Cool. And we gotta get this round a little bit lower. That way we can make our way to the Wonder Fizz and get the rest of our perks. Actually, we can probably just go to each individual machine. Let's grab Speed Cola. Let's take out the, one of these Abomination's heads. Please, bro. Thank you. Um, let's take a second to think. Never mind. I, I was trying to get into that glitch spot up there so all the zombies could stop moving. 
And I just went down again. So good thing we did grab Tombstone. Oh, what's going on, Abomination? Nice to see you. I probably went down in the worst spot possible, but at least there's not that many zombies in the round. Revive yourself, please! Oh, barely. I hate that. I, I know people say, like, switch to, like, con contextual tap or whatever for my x button i feel like i don't know what context it's in anyways so i'm sitting there trying to revive myself it's like oh yeah let's reload the five bullets we just shot fucking stupid all right well we got tombstone back we're just gonna be running and getting our perks constantly and now we're back to the yield grind over here please die abomination i'm sick of you there we go now watch this I'm gonna repair my armor first zombie's gonna drop a carpenter and the next one's gonna drop actual armor oh i'm dead here oh no i'm not i'm the greatest insane training right there insane training for cold war and now the zombies want to make me look dumb again it's like the same thing that happened on firebase c I'm like oh they're gonna drop a max ammo now nope it's like they listen they have to there's no other way oh wait they just dropped something there's a double points all right that's probably actually a good way to get like other power-ups so i'll just be like watch this they're gonna drop uh, a fire sale and then they drop me anything else besides that there's the armor drop i was talking about though oh fuck we're going down again let me try to crawl to a more open area i don't want to get cornered as i'm reviving myself actually all the zombies kind of fucked off over to there all right let's do this where am i excuse me zombies i got a me to save no i do not all right well we made it 22 rounds that time around with uh five downs to boot so let's try again and we are we basically still need to get like a thousand five hundred crits and just 500 more pack-a-punch kills it's only the crits holding us back right now we're gonna be seeing this little intro scene a whole lot today motherfucker we went down a little earlier this time around round eight instead of round 10 and i died on round 11 this sucks here we go again my goal this time around is to just not go down in the first room so we don't have to buy tombstone as early and just hang on to our self revive but we'll see how that goes and i think we actually got that done this time around round round 14 i haven't gone down yet knock on wood but i got 46,000. it's time to just go get pack a punch right, let's just make our portal again where's this part there it is and we'll grab all of our other parts as well same with dead shot wait what i don't have all the parts i missed one Oh, I never grabbed the flashlight. And I barely survived that. Holy shit. Give me that. And now there's way too many zombies over here. We got to take these guys out before we can even build our teleporter. I don't want to end the round. Okay, never mind. Maybe I do. I just wanted to fight the abomination one-on-one, -on -one, but I guess not. It's going to suck. A whole round's worth of zombies plus the abomination. Do I already hear an abomination? Okay, so now we have to fight two abominations oh fuck me dude this is bad might as well get this one to spawn in and try to get this guy out of here oh that was so close holy fuck healing aura has got to be the weakest field upgrade out there i don't even think i could save me from a paper cut it was like the biggest boss battle of my life oh that should be one of them if i didn't run out of ammo god damn there we go one of them's dead and the other one got me he stunned me then bit me we almost made it all the way to pack a punch without using our self revive on you rat bastard actually you know what i've never tried this what happens if we go to the other portal can we just leave can we leave this abomination or is this portal shut oh we can just leave huh what happens if we do does it follow us out because i need to go back here and get dead shot back anyways oh the abomination does follow us out all right well that's good to know i guess let's head on back and now you can please fucking die come on no just die please there we go finally i think we got enough to get this to purple now that was tough as shit and we can finally lift the lockdown and get our pack a punch back and now we're right back to going to spawn i think i finally made it back to the round where i died at let's see if we can uh, stay alive though this feels like round 100 right now it's literally only round 24 and i'm like fighting for my life over here the zombies with the little disciple upgrade are just tanking shots these elites are basically unkillable and I think this abomination has been here for the last three rounds and has not died i'm just gonna go out and say it this is cruel and unusual punishment <laughs> this shit is wild oh no oh that's even worse i actually got hyped thinking that was a self-revive 
No, it's a mimic. Fuck off. And now me and this disciple are literally trading health. Actually, not even trading. He's just taking all of mine and I'm taking none of his. It's going to take this entire 100 round mag to kill this disciple. Holy shit. Oh my Lanza, even the Mangler is just tanking shots. I kind of want to restart just so I can, you know, go back to being able to kill zombies again. But I also set a goal to try to get legendary on this Lapa, so we're going to try to make it all the way to there. Oh, there's our Pack-a-Punch kills. Now we legitimately just need our crits. That's it. But look at this. I'm going to throw a decoy. Look how many bullets it takes to kill these zombies. Okay, it's actually less than I thought, but... It's still a lot for round 25. Oh, and I think I finally have enough for legendary. Let's go. Let's see if this makes any sort of difference. I don't think it's that crazy of a difference already. I do see a little bit of difference on the elites, though. Like, I am doing a little more damage on these guys. The disciples are finally starting to take damage. Just as long as I'm far enough away for them to not take my health. And now all the zombies are stuck on me. Fuck off. Get the hell out of here. Skid fucking daddle. Well, let's see if we can revive ourselves. There we go. <sighs> Going right back to get more tombstone. And we immediately went back down. Let's see. Oh, I spawned way over here. This sucks. Actually, I can probably hurdle these zombies. There we go. Come on. Got it. Oh, we locked the UGR. Something came out of this. Besides pain and suffering. Fuck me. Well, I wonder how many times we'll be able to revive ourselves here. Come on. Almost had it. Very close, but not close enough. This game ends with us having five downs and almost a thousand crits. We gotta be getting close there. Here we go again. Now, I did say earlier, maybe we stay in the first room for as long as we can and try to get these crits, but I do really want dead shot. I'll try to fight the need for it. Oh, my Lanta. I turned around to pick up a fucking decoy and got slapped out of existence. I think we're still getting some progress, though. We're at almost 200 crits out of the 500 that we need. We just really cannot go down anymore, though. Uh, like I was saying, cannot do that. But we did anyways. Two downs that time around. This is feeling like Groundhog Day. I've seen this intro cutscene too many times. Oh, let's not waste a self-revive again. Squeezed out of there by the hair on our nuts. We gotta be getting close now, right? Yeah, we're hitting SMG Master here. And Sharpshooter. Like, we have our weapon mastery done with this, but we don't have enough crits to be done. Come on, there's no way we're not done yet, right? I'm, like, completely ignoring this abomination. Bro ain't gonna help me get camo progress, so he can just wander around. Oh, there's Golden Viper, finally. Holy shit, it only took, like, 18 games. Alright, Abomination, now you can kill me. Sorry for ignoring you. Ooh, Mimic actually took it away. Let's self-revive real quick and let him do it again. Come on, go ahead. Don't be shy. There we go. Our final stats for our last game. 440 kills, 336 crits. No revives, two downs. Let's make sure that we do have it. All right, cool. Let's go ahead, hop in game and see what it looks like there. All right, this is what the Lapa looks like with Golden Viper. Honestly, the coverage on this is pretty good, but I'm starting to realize how much I just hate how Golden Viper looks. It's such an ugly camo, and we unlocked it in probably one of the ugliest ways possible, but it's done. That's an SMG out of the way. But I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Remember, you can leave your suggestions down below. They don't have to be as cruel as this one. Remember, we can still have some fun around here, but uh, I'm going to head out. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.